Circus book number two. This one is just called Vintage Circus. And I decorated the front of this book. I loved this design here for a vintage circus look. So I kind of used neutral colors because of the color of the book. Put some book corners on because these corners were pretty frayed and some of the edges of the book are um, distressed, a little bit raw. You can see it there. I want you to be aware of that. But I put Mod Podge all over the cover and on the edges to help protect it. It's bound. It's got uh, fabric covering the binding and pieces of thread everywhere. Okay, and this is Mod Podged also. The the backs of the books, well, actually the fronts too, are stained because they are vintage books. I wiped them. I wiped the surface dirt off with baby wipes, but they are stained. But I like that because they are vintage books. This gorgeous thick rickrack came to me from Leslie in one of the happy mails she sent me and it's just perfect on here it adds it makes it just right I had to keep it neutral but I wanted it to look like a circus and that was just the right element I needed so thank you so much Leslie this is in this book I have pockets on the front and back in the other one I didn't because I didn't want to cover up those pretty end papers so the little swinging parrot is in the front of this book and it's different than the one in the other book but just as adorable so I'm just going to if you didn't see the other video I tucked a tab in here and in here and in here it bends at the waist and now it's a little swinging pirouette which I think is a type of French clown isn't that cute I love them and it came from this website. I found it when I was searching Pinterest for vintage circus printables. So I just take it apart because it's dimensional and we don't want to squish it and I just tucked it in the front pocket here. And this book has the same setup as the other book so I can go through it more quickly. Another image from this circus magazine that I got at a flea market. This I found on Pinterest. I thought it was interesting. I stitched it to coffee dyed paper. I will leave a link, and this is from a vintage children's book. I'll leave a link to the shops where I purchased printables below. Again, a little envelope. With a tag inside, which I'll have to work on getting out. Oh, there it is. And a printable ticket. I love the way this color looks. I love this paper. And then I put this green, mint green um, trim on it. And it complements the green zigzag stripes. And then this was cut from a scrapbook paper, and this was cut from a different scrapbook paper. And it all works together to make that cute page. And another piece cut from that same book. Where'd it go? It's the yellow page. There. Well, I don't know where it went. But anyway, they were all part of the same little circus parade. Again, the pretty multicolor eyelash trim that's in my shop. Vintage rickrack here. right underneath the fabric clips. This one has uh, features giraffes. On the other side, I think it says something about the first the first 
giraffe born into a circus. I'm not sure. I'll look at the other side. But because of this cir uh, giraffe paper, I used this giraffe print behind it. I already had this giraffe paper selected to put in the book. And then when I, when I found this, this was something I found on Pinterest. I knew they had to go together. And this is from that children's vintage children's magazine. And again, somebody solved the puzzle and wrote it here. Looks like an adult's writing, though. There's a lady with her umbrella on the high wire, and so there's one also. I didn't really do that on purpose, but it was a happy accident. Some journaling cards here. I didn't realize that was a dog in a dress. <laughs> This is from the Circus Magazine, and some vintage rickrack. Let me pocket here. This is the center. Um, all of the centers of the signatures have pages that are glued together to form a pocket. Some ruffled trim stitched on here. A printable ticket. The circuit, Serpent Lady, the Serpent Dame. There's a giraffe and a ticket that came from Gina's Designs, a free printable. Here it says, the only baby giraffe in America. That's what it said. The only baby giraffe in America. I like the way this one turned out. And each of these tags on the front of the signature has a different color bulb pin. Holding a, a vintage ticket. These are napkins that are decoupaged on. A little bit of stamping down there. This is from the Circus Magazine, and this is vintage fabric up here. And again, a cutout circus for children, but you can journal on the back. This is a gallery cat image. All of the ones that are like a fair poster are gallery cat. This is from the Circus Magazine. This one has a flip. Vintage fabric up here. A yellow merchandise tag. This elephant I glued on is a little tuck spot to hold that little ticket. Some more stamping there. This you can journal on. I'm going to distress ink the back of it. I did do a tutorial on these pockets that I put on. They're pretty simple. And then here's the Nabisco Toy Town Carnival piece. It's a sideshow piece. And if you didn't see the first video, I purchased a set of these little three-dimensional Toy Town pieces at a flea market. So each of these two journals gets one of those cards. And this one is fastened with this gold and cream elastic. So this one is called Vintage Circus. Sorry, I'm just putting the elastic back on. Vintage Circus and Curly Tops at the Circus. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know uh, what you think of them. Subscribe to me if you're not already subscribed. And give me a thumbs up on this video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.